Morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. All right, so I just dropped a video this morning, right, about uh, about Amari, uh, where is Bop? Amari, if you don't know, Amari is Gully Bop's. Um, first of all, today is Thursday. Am I correct, babe? Yes. Today is Thursday. You're almost there. One more day. Almost there. Almost the end of the week. Almost time for you to go enjoy your weekend for the 9 to 5 workers. Big up the people them who are self-employed and get no days off. But that's okay because like Capleton said, self-employed cannot get laid off, right? Alright, so I did a video this morning for, um, I put it on the channel about the song and video that Omari did, Where is Bop? Looking for Gully Bop on uh, all these things. I'm going to do a part two to that video and the part two was Gully Bop's response and I'm going to break that down with some other some commentary on comedy as usual. I wanted everybody to start the day off with a laugh, right? Because somebody said, okay, I'm looking for morning thoughts, morning thoughts. I didn't hear any of that, so I guess this is not it. You're right, that wasn't it. This is it. Morning thoughts, morning thoughts. Big up on yourself, man, and thanks for tuning into the morning thoughts. I didn't think it would go anywhere like that, but people are loving it, and I'm doing it. Now I feel motivated to wake up every morning and do morning thoughts for you. And if I miss the morning thoughts, I do afternoon morning thoughts anyways. But I just feel obligated to do it now. To start your day off on the right foot. It's important to start your day off on the right foot. You know, sometimes when you wake up and you start the day off bad and then your whole day just go bad. It's like you can't fix it. Well, that's what we say in Jamaica. We're gone by the morning, can't come good at evening or something like that. Yeah, so <laughs> let's not do that. Let's practice starting our day off good. Start your day off jovial. Start your day off with a laugh. Start your day off being thankful for another day. Especially those of us who are still healthy and sane. Start your day off healthy, happy that you're healthy and sane and live to see another day. I said this before. The man with no shoes, him cry about him want new shoes. Till he meet the man that just lost both legs. Him can't cry about shoes no more. You know what I'm saying? So just be grateful for what you have. And make sure you start your day off right. Now, today should be the official day that me and wifey going back to the gym. Because I got a little round and chunky. So I have about a good 20 pounds to lose. And, you know what I'm saying? Firm up back. But, today we're going to be going to the gym. Today is our start back at the gym. As you know, we were traveling for a while, and it was very hard to keep that work schedule, and the gym was so far away from where we were living. I saw it going out in them country places, um, and think about We're back home in Florida. The gym's right down, the street, literally right down the street, and... We're going to be visiting the gym today. We sweat yesterday. Sign up. I'm going to invest in a juicer. I'm going to go pick up a juicer today. So I'm saying all this to encourage my audience to actually come along. Right? So we want to do a 2018 summer fit. We want to do a 2018 summer fit. And it's not just for the summer, but it's for, it's for life. A lifestyle change then. Because I'm looking at, like, my family members and, you know, Brain said to me, uh, was it yesterday where you said the male them in my family, babe? Yeah. Yeah, it was yesterday and she said, man, it's like the men in your family, like, things happen to them or something wrong with all of them or something like that. But it's genetics to an extent. But more than anything, it's not genetics. More than anything, it's lifestyle choices, Right? It's lifestyle choices because all the men on one side of my family, they're fit and healthy and they live long. And then on the other side, they all die young or relatively young or they're living with ailments. And I think I see the difference because on one side, they didn't smoke. They still don't smoke. They don't normally, they don't really drink. Like they'll drink socially or they'll drink like a one thing, but they won't drink continuously and party out themselves and all these other things. So it is definitely, and they do eat healthy as well. So it's definitely choices. 
right? What's going to happen to you in life is going to happen to you regardless. You could be as healthy as ever. I've seen healthy athletes suddenly one day just die from a heart attack. And they didn't have no heart disease or anything like that. I've seen healthy people catch a stroke just because a blood clot formed and the blood clot traveled all the way up to the brain. So what is for you is going to be for you. But in the meantime, though, take steps. And don't rush the process. You know what I'm saying? As we old, our bodies as we age, our bodies change, and things happen. I've seen young females come up with breast cancer, end up losing both breasts, have um a radical mastectomy. All kinds of things can happen. So take care of your body. Is I guess is what I'm gonna say again. I'm on that health is wealth thing and I said I know I've said it a couple of times but people aren't really I don't think a lot enough people are paying attention to the magnitude of that statement the richest person in the world once they get sick they would give up every single thing they own just to be healthy again especially if they have something that not they their money and the best doctors in the world cannot help them with and these things do happen. So, once you have your health, you have wealth, right? Let's be thankful for that. So, yeah, I'm going to go invest in a juicer today. And I want to see who else is going to invest in a juicer or a blender. If you can't get one big expensive juicer, which I'm not going to get. I'm very cheap. I'd rather see my money stay in the bank. I got kids to feed and all these other things. And I got to be prepared for emergency situations because you never know. And this is not like Jamaica when you live a foreign where something wrong with you and you can't go lay down road or grandma yard or something. You can't pay your bills here. Your behind gets homeless real fast. Right? So, I'm not going to invest in no big expensive juicer. I'll, I'll show you guys the juicer on another vlog. But we already have a blender. Babe, we never have one bullet. No? No. Alright, I'm going to get a juicer today. But I'm going for a cheap one. It doesn't matter. It does the same trick. Right? Just make sure you have one. It's, and then we're going to start a cleansing. Well, she can't start a cleansing because, as you know, she has a baby on the way. But I'm going to start my cleansing. And my sister is in Georgia, who's been a vegan for many years now. She went back to not eating right and all that. And now she's about to... She already got all her stuff together and she's waiting on me. To actually say, yeah, okay, I'm ready, let's go. So, i got support to do this. And I would like for you to come along for the journey. Alright? So, big up on itself. Where you have to send me? Where you have to send me? Oh. It's definitely the world. And you need to stick. Know your family tree and know what are the ailments in your family. So, you can possibly prevent them. Yeah, that's why I was bad giving my jacket because I picked them. End up don't know <laughs> their true family tree and... Yeah, she was saying health. I would turn the camera around, but she's so sexy. I would turn the camera around, but she's naked, as usual. Brains likes to be naked. If y'all don't know that, she's still naked. But just cool with me. I don't mind. I'm just saying. But she was just she was just reiterating what I was saying. Health is definitely wealth, and we need to know our family, or people in our family, our family tree, so we can know like genetically what's there, and we can prepare ourselves or. Avoid certain triggers or certain behaviors that can lead to the onset of certain things, right? So I'm going to leave it right there. It's more than thoughts as usual. Big up on yourself. Stay progressive. Stay productive. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. It could be way worse. End this video by saying, you have it worse. You have it bad. Somebody have it worse. You think you have it worse. Somebody have it. What's up? All right? <laughs> I'm out. Peace.